You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back to Black Tree on TV. I'm your girl, Alex Hudgens, and we are your number one source for urban entertainment. Now, I hope y'all are having fun because I know I am. Speaking of fun, the new comedy Tammy starring Melissa McCarthy is in theaters and Melissa and her husband, Ben Falcone, teamed up to write the movie. Sean Edwards caught up with Ben to get him to spill the dish on what it's like working so closely with his significant other. Tammy? I'm terminating your employment at Topper Jacks, and I need your badge. What badge? You mean my name tag? Yes, exactly. I need your badge. I need your my, badge It's not back. a badge. It's a name tag, and you made me buy it with my own money. That's company policy. I need it back. Well, I need you to stop sweating through your shirts and grossing everybody out. Tammy is a movie that is about um, a woman who's maybe gotten a little too comfortable in her life and she's a little bit stuck. And you know, I think we've all been through those phases in our lives and I think that um, sometimes for maybe too long, <laughs> I came downstairs one day and I said to Melissa, uh, wouldn't it be fun to uh, write a movie where you play this woman from the Midwest and you go on a road trip with your grandma? Because Melissa and I were really close with the grandmothers. Um, and she was like, oh yeah, that seems really fun. And I said, yeah, and what if your grandma, you know, she boozes a lot and she's, uh, you know, sleeps around and she goes, ooh, okay, great. I, I want to be called Tammy. I want my name to be Tammy. So, um, we, you know, six years later, here we are. So it's pretty wild. I basically got to play a villain. I've always wanted to play kind of a villain. Um, and I never have. And uh, so I got to finally play one. I was like, well, I'm going to be a villain. You know, and he's a small, <clears throat> you know, small time villain. He's not, you know, he's not taking over metropolis or whatever but he really is trying to jab people as much as he can that was very interesting melissa mccarthy is a funny girl hope her new movie is just as funny if you guys check out tammy holler at us and tell us what you thought on our facebook page okay now it's time to hit the red carpet demarco brown caught up with the cast of earth to echo at the los angeles film festival and here's how it all went down demarco Thanks, Alex. What's up, guys? This is DeMarco Brown here at the LA Film Festival. We're here for the premiere of Earth to Echo. It's basically considered ET 2.0. Now, can you describe your role in the show with Octavia and what's it like working with her? Uh, I don't want to say too much, but because uh, they didn't reveal too much in like the trailers they released, but um, it's basically about these kids in the hospital who, you know, a lot of people think that life ends when you go into the hospital and really it starts. So that's like the sum of the entire show. But yeah. working with her is amazing. She's a very humble person and she bought us all Chick-fil-A on the last day of filming. Right, so there you go. Shouts to Octavia Spencer. <laughs> now what's coming up next for you for music wise? Yeah, music I'm gonna put out an EP this summer. Um and I still like put out music. Like the people who really wanna know what the music is, they know where it is. Like they know what it is. Um but yeah, I'm gonna put out an EP this summer and uh, more features, more videos, you know, okay. stuff like that. Now, um, we heard you want to, you're a comedian, right? Working on it. Working on it, okay. Now, who's one of your favorite comedians? I mean, everybody's going to say it, but obviously Will Ferrell, but I think my favorite of the favorite, if I had to pick, gun in my head, Chris Farley. That guy, poor rest his soul, um, he was probably the funniest guy ever. And you still watch his stuff, you look back. Oh, of course. It, his Saturday Night Live, his collection was the best. Now, Earth to Echo, you know it's being, com not compared, but just in the yeah. same realm of E.T. and so when when you first started the film like what was was that the inspiration just that type of family you know, film? I, it was, yeah I was like Gremlins, E.T., Stand By Me, uh, you know uh, Goonies yeah. and so I said what if they were all wrapped up into one and we did it today it would be a lot like Echo. Yeah. And what was the decision behind the kind of point of view of filming from the characters? That was, uh, the, the whole point of view uh, part of it was that we have uh, today's generation filming themselves constantly not to mention forget about that, even adults are doing it. So I thought, if it happened today, if E.T. happened today, what would happen? And they, they would document everything, no matter what. I mean, we do it anyway. You know, you go to the, you're like walking to your bedroom, you're documenting whatever's going on. I mean, so if, if imagine if you found an alien, what you would do. Thanks, DeMarco, that was fun. Can't wait to see Earth to Echo. I hear it's the E.T. of this generation. Okay, up next, we're going behind the scenes of Earth to Echo. And what movie has scared you the most? The cast of the new horror flick, Deliver Us From Evil, tell us which movies have scared the bejesus out of them. It's all in just a bit on Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. Stay tuned. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.